Wonderful good morning to one and all. I am Purna Prakash, Assistant Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science in Aksha College of Engineering Technology at Coimbatore. Now I am going to teach about Kerbos Authentication. Kerbos Authentication is a pro- authentication protocol. It provides a way to authenticate client to server to each other through a trusted third party. That means Kerbos is a secure network authentication protocol that uses tickets and symmetric inscription to verify the identity of user and the services in a network. It operates based on a trusted third party called the Key Distribution Center which issues tickets to client for accessing service securely without transmitting password over the network. Kerbos is commonly used in enterprise environment for single sign on kerbos makes assumption that a connect between a client and a service in insecure password or encrypted to prevent other from reading them clients only have authenticate once during predefined lifeline kerbos was designed and developed by mit by project athena currently kerbos is up to version 5 version 4 being the first version to be released outside of mit kerbos has been adopted by several private companies as well as ordered several operating system its creation was inspired by client server model replacing time sharing model kerbos is a network authentication protocol designed to allow users client and server authenticate themselves to each other The mutual authentication is done by using secret key cryptography with parties providing to each other identify across in insecure network connections. Communications between the client and the server can be secure after the client and the server have used the Kerbos to provide their identity. From this point on subsequent communication between two can encrypt it to uh, azure privacy and data integrity <laughs> microsoft windows unix and kerbos windows 2000 and later uses kerbos its default authentication method in documentation include software for kerbos authentication of users or services some components of kerbos are principal relm client server kdc yes tgs mechanism of their kerbos client authenticate itself to the authentication server as which forward the user name to a key distribution center kdc is used a ticket granting ticket tgt which is time stamped encrypt its using the user's password and return the encrypted result to the user's workstation tgt remains valid until it expire thou may be transparently renewed by the user session manager while they are logged in when the client needs to communicate with another node client send the tgt to the ticket granting service after verifying tgt is valid and the user is permitted to access the requested service tgs is used a ticket and session keys which are returned to the client clients then send the ticket to the service server along with its service request user client based logon user enters a username and password on the client machines client transfer the password into the key of a symmetric cipher either users the built in key scheduling or a one way has depending the cipher suit used client authentication client send a clear text message of the user id to the as requesting service on behalf of the user as generate the secret key by hashing the password of the user found at the database as check to see if client is in database if it is the as sends back the following two message to the client message a client tgs session key encrypted using the secret key of the client user message b is ticket granting ticket which include the client id client network address ticket validity period and the client tgs session key 
encrypted using the secret key of the TGS. Client server authentication and client attempt to decrypt message with the secret key generated from the password entered by the user. If the password does not match in the AES database, the client secret key will be different and thus unable to decrypt message A. With a valid password and a secret key, the client decrypt message A to obtain the client. TGS is session key. Session key is used for further communication with the TGS. Client server authentication. When requesting the services, the client sends the following two messages to the TGS. Message C is composed to the TGT from B and the ID of the requested service. Message D, authenticator which is composed of the client ID and the timestamp encrypted using the client TGS session key. Once upon the receiving message C and D, TGS retrieve the message B out of message C. Discrete message B using the TGS secret key. Give it the client TGS session key. Using this client TGS session key, the TGS descript the message. Send the following two messages to the client. Message E client to server ticket which include the client ID. Client network address validity, period and client server session key. Encrypted using service secret key. Message F client server session key encrypted with the client TGS session key. Client service request. Upon receiving message E and F from TGS, client has enough information to authenticate itself to the SS. Clients connect to the SS and sends the following two message. Message E from the previous step, the client to server ticket encrypted using secret key. Message G, a new authenticator which includes the client ID, timestamp and is encrypted using client server session key. Client service request. SS descript the ticket using its own secret key to retrieve the client server session key. SS descript the authenticator and send the following message to the client to confirm its true identity and the willingness to serve the client. Message H, the timestamp found in client authentication, encrypted the client server session key. Client decrypt the confirmation using the client server session key. Check whether timestamp is correctly updated. Client can trust the server and they can start issuing the request to the server. Server provide the requested service to the client. Kerberos authentication process and its cross domain. Client in domain 1 wishes to access a network resource in remote domain 2. The client has already been authenticated to KDC in domain 1 and has received TGT. The client presser present TGT to KDC in domain 1 and request a TGS to access a remote resources. Kerberos authentication process and continuous. The KDC in domain 1 cannot provide TGS to network resource in domain 2. Instead, KDC in domain 1 Respond to the client with the TGT for domain 2. The client presser present the new TGT to KDC in domain 2. The KDC in domain 2 responds with the TGS for, from the network resource. The client accesses the network resource in domain 2 using the new TGS. Drawback and limitation. Single point of failure. Kerbos has strict time requirement. Administration protocol is not standardized. All author authentication are controlled by their centralized KDC. Drawback and limitations continuous. Each network service which require a different host name requires user account, user client and the services on the server to all have trusted relationship to the Kerbos token server. Required client trust makes creating staged environment is difficult. Weakness in Kerbos control uh, to sustainable offline password cracks, password cracking tools such as 
10 PHT crack able to demonstrate the vulnerability if TGT is stolen the attackers can access until session experience expires severe effect in KDC is compromised advantages of Kerber's authentication in information security investigation it enhances the security credential password are not transmitted over the network single sign on SSO user can authenticate once on access multiple service without repeatedly entering credential mutual authentication both the user and the server verify each other's identities ensuring trust efficient session management uses ticket for authentication eliminating the need to contact the kdc frequently scalability suitable for large network due to its efficient management of credential sessions real time applications of information security investigations access control investigation system application restricts to access sensitive investigation tools and data to authenticated user only authorized forensic investigator can log in into analyze software using kerbas securing evidence services ensure secure authentication for accessing server storing digital evidence kerbas enforce strict authentication policies for serve handling chain of custody files audit trails and logs application provide traceable authentication logs that can be used for accountability in investigation examples log of user activity generated through kerbas authentication assist in identifying unauthorized assumpt and attempt summary kerbas authentication is a robust protocol widely used for secure and efficient authentication in enterprise environment in information security investigation it plays a critical role in protecting sensitive data ensuring authorized access and maintaining a very verifiable trail of activities despite its complexity and reliance on the kdc its advantages makes it preferred choice for organization prioritizing security and scalability thank you to one and all